it's Gwen welcome back to my channel today I'm bringing you all a bit of a different video I'm talking about something that I don't really talk about much at all on this channel and that is video games and gaming um, I know you know this is really primarily a music channel you know my whole slogan is music and more and this is part of the more I really have been wanting to incorporate some of my other hobbies into my videos um, and it's not like I'm completely giving up music at all don't think that I'm not gonna be posting mainly music content on this channel but you know I really want to show you guys you know some of the other sides of me some of my other hobbies especially if you follow me on like any other social media especially like Twitter you know I've tweeted about like my switch and video games. I have been an avid video game player since I was like six or something Like I got my first console when I was six. I grew up with my GameCube. I had my Wii blah 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 So I could make a whole video about my uh, my video game experience But yeah, I grew up playing video games. I've been an avid video game player my whole life I just don't really talk about it on this channel, but I thought let's do it. Let's chat so I was excited to film this video. I've been planning this for a few weeks and it's just been crazy with the end of the semester. So I haven't had time to film, which is why there's been a bit of a lack of videos. Once again, I'm sorry, but I'm here today to share with you all my Nintendo Switch game collection. I decided to film this because my Nintendo Switch is my main console. It's the only console that I am able to play here. Um, I actually brought my GameCube and all of those games here um, over the Christmas winter break. I had my mom fly them back here when she came here. Um, but they're not here in this apartment. They're just like in Chicago. Once I move to a bigger place this summer, I'm hoping to bring that stuff there and eventually be able to play my GameCube games again and maybe even my Wii games eventually because I love all my consoles. Um, but my main console has been my Switch for the past few years, which I love, which is obviously like, you know, the hot new console. Everyone loves this thing. So I'm gonna just go through the games that I have. And I don't have like the biggest collection. I got my Switch March of 2019. So I've had it for like three-ish years now. Um, and there's games I want, I have a long wish list, but I'm just gonna go through all the games I have. Two of the games I have are downloaded, but the rest are physical, because I do prefer having physical games. So without further ado, let's jump into my Nintendo Switch collection. So when I've seen other people film this video, um, they've actually, before they've shown their games, they've started with showing their accessories. And I really don't have that many accessories and they're all pretty basic. But I thought like really quick, I guess I could show that to you. Um, so the Switch that I have is the like colored one. So for Joy-Cons, I just have the ones that it came with. Um, this one actually had joystick drift and I had to send it off and they sent me a brand new one for free that is all working again, which is nice. Um, I don't have any other color Joy-Cons. I've been debating maybe getting another colored pair. I really like the purple and orange. I don't know if you can get that anymore, but I really like that. It's very like Halloween and spooky and I love purple and I think the orange is cool. So yeah, I've been debating getting another pair of Joy-Cons, but right now I just have these. I do, however, have the Pro Controller, which I really love. This is mainly what I use to play, especially when I'm by myself. I really love this thing. I think it is an amazing Pro Controller. It has a lot of weight to it, which I like, and it just has like a really great feel. So when I'm playing, especially just like, you know, a typical player one game by myself, like Zelda or something, I will play with my Pro Controller. I got this for my birthday last year, so I've had it for over a year and I really, really love it. And what's great is that, you know, I have the little controller dock for my Joy-Cons, so if I have another person over, usually I'll use the Pro Controller and they can dock the Joy-Cons. Um, but it would be nice to have another set of Joy-Cons uh, if I have like three or four people playing, especially when I eventually move into a bigger place and I can invite more people over to play, uh, like Mario Party and stuff, it'd be nice to have another set of Joy-Cons or even like another Pro Controller. They have like some really cool themed ones like Zelda and stuff, so like a Mario one. It'd be cool to get another Pro Controller. They're just really expensive, <laughs> but they're great. I love it. And the last accessory that I have for the Switch is just my case. It's super basic. I think I got it off Amazon. It just has like a little strap and then it zippers. It's all black. I didn't want anything like really with a lot of color or too flashy or anything. So I like it because it goes with everything inside. Uh, I actually keep, I don't know what you call these things, like the little like wrist straps, I guess, for the Joy-Cons. I don't really use them, so I just keep them in here. And then you can keep your games in here, and then you put your Switch here. So this is really great, obviously, because the Switch can be played handheld, so I love having this when I bring it to, like, uh, friends' houses, bring it places, travel. When I go home, I don't bring my entire dock home. 
Um, I just, you know, bring it so I can play it handheld. So I have this. It's really nice. It's got that kind of hard shell, so I don't worry that like stuff's gonna get damaged. And yeah, it's just super nice to have everything compact. So yeah, that's all my accessories. I'd like to get more. It'd be fun to accessorize the Switch a little bit more. That hasn't really been. I guess like a priority of mine, but I've seen other people's switches be really cool and it's gotten me a little inspired to maybe start collecting some other accessories. So that might happen in the near future. Maybe I'll get some more stuff. But now let's move on to games. So first I'm gonna talk about the two games that I have downloaded, which I recently downloaded in December. The first game that I have is Cars 3 Driven to Win. This was on sale on the eShop store over winter break, I think it was literally on sale for like $3. Like I think it was like $3.99 or $4.99 or something. I think it was like three or four bucks. It was super, super cheap. And uh, yeah, I've been wanting a Cars game. <laughs> I used to play this Cars game for the GameCube that I loved and I was trying to find something to replace that. This definitely is not that because the story mode sucks. Um, but you can play like really fun mini games and you can race with all the characters and you can do races and like, it definitely, because I paid only like three bucks for it, I'm fine with it. I think I like got my money's worth, if that makes sense. Like it is great for what it is. It was a fun little download and yeah, it's a really fun game. The other game that I downloaded that I literally, I think got for like $2 or something and it's normally 40 is Saints Row 4. I had this for my PlayStation 3 and I really loved it and I'm missing playing those kind of games. And then I saw that you get it for the Switch and I think I was gonna order like the physical copy for like 40 bucks, but then I saw it on the eShop channel, whatever, for like $2. It was insanely cheap. It was like 90% off or something crazy. Um, and I was like, I have to get this. It's so incredibly cheap. And I'm glad I only paid that much for it because I started playing it over the break and um, it already like glitched and was just like endlessly loading. And I don't know if any of you guys have this game and that's happened to you and I had to like completely restart a section of the game because it was just like an endless loading screen that nothing ever happened. And I didn't even get that far into the game and that happened. So it hasn't made me want to go back and play it and I'm kind of happy I only paid two bucks for it. I love the game on the PS3 and I want to keep playing it, but like I'm afraid that's gonna keep happening. So if you have that game, let me know if that happens to you at all. Now we're gonna get to my actual physical games, which I think is what you guys all care about. These are gonna be in no particular order. They're just all in a giant pile, so we're just gonna go through them. First game is Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Uh, I got this a few years ago for Christmas. It's really fun because it includes all three Crash Bandicoot games. Uh, I was really, really into 2D platforming games. I still like them, but I was like really on a 2D platforming kick a few years ago. And so I had to get this because you get so many levels, you get three full games. It's pretty much all like, you know, 2D running, jumping kind of games. You know, Crash Bandicoot, a classic. So I got this one. The next game I have is Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. This came out for the Wii U, and I remember, I never had the Wii U, but I had the Wii, and I watched a Let's Play of one of my favorite old, like, Let's Play YouTubers play it on the Wii U, and I was so jealous, because I had the one for the Wii, and I loved it, and, like, the squirrel suit came out for this game, and I was just so jealous watching this guy play with the squirrel suit. I was like, I want to play this game so bad. And so when I got my Switch in 2019, the first game that I made sure I bought was this one. I got two Mario games with my purchase and this had to be one of them because I was just so, so ready to play with that squirrel suit and I think I beat the game in like a week. <laughs> Uh, I think I beat the game in like maybe five to ten hours of gameplay, uh, but I love this game so much I'm still working on getting all the star coins, but this is like a classic game for me Like I had it for the Wii, I had it for the DS, and I absolutely love this game It's really fun multiplayer, and it's like a staple I think for the Switch The next game is the other staple Mario game that I had to get when I bought my Switch and that was Super Smash Bros. Surprisingly, I never grew up playing any of the other Smash games. Um, I played it like at friends' houses and stuff, but I never had it for the GameCube or the Wii or anything. And I don't know why, I don't know why I never had it, but I'm really, really glad that I got this one when I did because I love it. It's, you know, it's everyone, everyone loves Smash. Like everyone has this game, everyone's played it. It's so much fun trying to beat your friends and everything and trying to like master different characters and things. And yeah, I love this game. This is a Nintendo Switch staple. The next game I have is Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Um, this one is really fun. This was the first ever Spyro game I played. I didn't really know much about it. I just thought like, hey, look at this cute little dragon guy. And I got this one for my birthday last year. And um, I'm like stuck it apart, so I haven't played it in a while, but like it's fun to fly around and collect all the little gems. Next, I have Donkey Kong Country Returns Tropical Freeze, longest title ever. Uh, 
This game I got years ago, honestly, and like <laughs> gave up really quick because it was really, really difficult. I tried playing it with my mom because she loves Donkey Kong. It, I couldn't even play it, so like she was having trouble. I tried playing it by myself and I did not get far at all because you kind of like need somebody to play with you to save you. Like you need to kind of be backup for each other or else if you play it by yourself, I just kept dying over and over and I was making like no progress in the game. So I kind of gave up on it. And then this past fall, uh, my boyfriend and I started playing it together because I was like, listen, I have this game, he's a big video game person. And I was like, I need someone to help me beat it. I want to beat it, but it like has to be played with two players. So we just started like a whole new file from scratch and we're still playing it. We're only, I think in the third world and I think there's maybe seven or eight worlds. So it's a hard game, like, <laughs> and like he's really good at video games. I think I'm pretty good at these kind of like, um, you know, 2D jumping games, but like there's so many controls for this game and it is genuinely difficult. So maybe one day, maybe eventually, like in a year or two, we will finally defeat this game. We're lucky if we beat one level in like a three hour playing time span. And like, I'm not kidding, like it's a hard game, <laughs> but we're not giving up, we're slowly, you know, working together with those monkeys to defeat the owls and get rid of the tropical freeze on these poor monkeys' homes. But uh, it is a really cute game. You know, you have like Cranky and Dixie and Diddy and it's like, it's pretty cute. I don't want to say it's a bad game and I don't want to tell people not to buy it. Just know like, it's a tricky game, it's tough, but I'm, I'm really determined to beat it one day. My next game I have is Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Uh, this came out like a year ago, I think for Christmas. I got it uh, Christmas 2020 and uh, it had come out that fall. And I mainly got it because it includes Super Mario 64, which I played on my DS. That was the first game I ever remember, I think, beating as a kid. Like I beat it when I was like six and I was super proud of myself. I was so invested in that game. I love that game. Like the music, everything about that game is just childhood to me. I was so invested in getting all those power stars and I like completely crushed the game. And then I, when I saw that it came out for Switch and uh, this includes Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario Galaxy as well. So I thought this is a great deal because I never played either of the other two. I had Mario Galaxy for the Wii, I hated it, but I figured let me try it again on the Switch. So I just love that you get three games in one and I was so excited to relive my childhood and play Super Mario 64 again, which was so much fun. I actually recently beat it like a month ago and uh, I swear it was way better though when I was six. I don't know if it was easier on the DS, but like Playing it on the Switch, I don't know, I was kind of having a, a bit of trouble times at certain certain levels, but it was still super fun. And now I eventually want to move on to Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario Galaxy. So I have only scratched the surface of what this game has to offer. I've only done a third of it, which I love because I feel like I've gotten so much out of this game. And yeah, it's great, especially for like the nostalgia of it all. I think it's a really good deal. The next game I have is something that everyone has in their collection these days, and that is Animal Crossing New Horizons. This is the first Animal Crossing game I ever played. I never had Animal Crossing for like DS or anything else. I don't even know if I had really heard of it as a kid, which is weird because somebody definitely probably told me about it. And I think I had seen like the little leaf symbol, but I really did not know a lot about it. So, you know, everyone was getting this during quarantine. I literally ordered this like my second week into quarantine, March of 2020, you know, and uh, everyone was obsessed with it around the same time. I put in like 240 hours into it and I haven't really played it much in the last six months to a year. <laughs> uh, my island is only, I think, three stars and I don't know if I'll ever get up to a five star island because I'm just not gifted in the way of creativity of making my island beautiful. I don't know, like I'm not great at having a vision and making everything look super pretty. I feel like I don't have the patience for it or like the ideas, so I don't know. My island is, it's okay. It's a three star island, it's cool. Eventually I'll slowly go back, get back into it, I think. I'll go on it every now and then if they're doing like special events and like special updates and things. But overall, I put 240 hours into it and I kind of hit my limit after a while. Um, but it's still really fun to play with other friends, like go to people's island. I still think it's a great game. It's a really relaxing game. It's something that I would definitely play like on a road trip or like a flight or something because it's just chill, not too, you know, hectic. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a really fun escape. The next game I have is actually my newest game and that is Mario Party Superstars because um, this just came out this year and another game that I never played. Like Mario Party, I heard that phrase all in my childhood. Did I ever go to someone's house and play it? 
Nope, I had no clue what it meant. I thought Mario Party was just a bunch of mini games and that did not sound great to me. Meanwhile, no, it's a whole damn board game, basically. And I love board games. So when I found out what it was, I was like, oh my God, why did I not grow up playing this? So <laughs> I played the one that came out for the Switch before, which I forget what that one was called. And then when this one came out, people were telling me, oh, get the new one since you don't have one. Cause it doesn't really make sense to have both of them. Um, but I decided to get the new one and I love it. I mean, I don't have a ton to compare it to except for the other Switch game, but it's really fun because you can play mini games from all of the other Mario parties. They have ones from GameCube, Wii, everything. So it's really, really fun. They have all of these new boards and I just think the graphics are also really pretty. Um, my one complaint about this though is that the character selection is really small. And I don't know, I thought maybe you could like unlock other characters. You don't get a lot of good characters to play as compared to the other one for the Switch where you can be like Koopa and Boo and like all these cool ones. This one just has like, I think eight generic characters and it's kind of boring. So that's my one critique. But other than that, I think it's a really fun game. Super fun to play with a bunch of people cause it's like a board game. Y'all know, I don't need to sell you guys on Mario Party. <sighs> the next game is a game that's had me in a chokehold on and off for the last two years and that is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I love this game so much. I got this game for my birthday in 2020. I bought it for myself for my 20th birthday not knowing at all really what it was about. I had seen a bunch of people like I think I saw someone play and I saw like a horse riding simulator and I thought, oh, that's cool. I'll be a little wilderness explorer. I had heard about Zelda. I did not know at all the history of Zelda games. I had never played another Zelda game, but I bought this and I got kind of ripped off at GameStop, but we're not gonna talk about it. Cause now I've put in a hundred hours and it's totally worth every penny. Cause this game is amazing. When I first started playing it in 2020, I did not understand what was happening. I think I spent the first five hours just picking apples. And then my roommate at the time was like, did you get to the village yet? And I was like, there is a village. <laughs> I've been picking apples. It's been wilderness simulator. Like it's been nothing. I just didn't understand what I was supposed to be doing. So eventually I like got really into the game. A friend helped me too. He actually gave me his old like, not like a cheat book, but like this giant Zelda Breath of the Wild textbook that had like so much info about the game, all of like the quests and like things to help me. And that was really fun. And then, um, that was during quarantine a bit. That was like later on in 2020, after like the summer of 2020, when we were stuck inside and I got sucked into this game big time. I was shrine grinding, I was doing quests, I was reading that book, I was figuring everything out and I was super, super into it. And then I took a bit of a break and when I moved here, I, I played it a little bit off and on. Like I think that around last year at this time, I was playing it a bit like April and May. And then I took a break in the summer because I don't tend to play as many video games in the summer. And then like this fall hit and I was sucked back in so hard. I was playing this game so much in the fall. I was playing it so much at home. And ever since I've been back, I've been like hitting all the divine beasts. I'm basically almost done with the game now. I can like go and defeat Ganon. I can go to the castle, which is like insane to me. Um, I have my master sword. Like it's just, oh, it's an amazing game. I'm just, I love, I've gotten so much more sucked into the storyline as well and like the characters and the music, the dialogue. Um, I think the voice acting is beautiful. Like I just love this game so much. I am so excited they're coming out with a second one next year. Uh, I think it's gonna be just even better. I'm so excited and yeah, I love this game so much. I would just spend hours like researching it online cause you can just, if you know if you've ever played this, this game, there's so much to it and you can run and beat the whole thing in the matter of seconds if you want because people have done that in a matter of like, you know, an hour. Or you can literally spend hours and hours trying to find every secret. It's the most amazing wide open game. The map is so big and I could go on and on about this game. I love it so, so much. And I'm like excited to beat it, but I also don't really want it to end. So I put a hundred hours into this and I plan on putting in many more. The next game I have is Mario Kart 8. Uh, a classic. I grew up with all the Mario Kart games for the DS and the Wii, so of course I had to get this one. This was, I think, the third game that I got for my Switch. It was something that I knew I had to have because I, I gotta, I gotta brag for a moment. If I had like a top five skills in life, 
beating people at Mario Kart would be up there. Like, this is a game that, like, I know I'm good at, and I'm confident, because I've played it on, like, every console. I love it. Um, I have almost, I think, like, 7,000 points on the online play, beating people online. It's just so much fun, and now that they've released the new DLC with all of the new tracks, I bought that, and it's been so much fun to play, like, Coconut Mall again, and, like, all of the old tracks, and I just love this game so much. Um, this, I've also put a ton of hours into this game. This, I think, is my second most played game at, like, 120 hours, I want to say. I was on a kick where I was just, like, I would, part of my daily ritual would be going online and beating people for, like, an hour every day. Um, I played it a ton in 2019 when I got it, and it's just every single year I get sucked into this game at some point. And I just love to play it with friends, love to play it online. It is a classic for me. And the last game I have in my collection is Super Mario Odyssey. I got this for my 21st birthday last year, but I actually, it took me a year to play it. It's been sitting. <laughs> with the rest of my games basically unopened for an entire year. Um, and that was because I was just been playing other games and I didn't want to start something new. I hadn't been in that headspace. So it's been sitting there for a really long time. And then I realized in my birthday this year, hey, I've had this for a year. Maybe I should play it. Cause like it was a gift and I feel guilty for not playing it. So I finally started this game about a month and a half ago. And I think it's super cool. It's gotten so many good reviews. I mean, it was one of the like really popular games when the Switch came out because it did come out pretty close to when the Switch came out and everyone was talking about it. And you can do a lot with the game. You can get super creative. I'm really looking forward to getting into like the city, you know, but you get to go on an odyssey across the world in all these different places trying to defeat Bowser, who's trying to force Peach into a wedding with him. I gotta say, like, the plot of the game is weird, but uh, it's a really cool game, and I think it also looks beautiful. The graphics are really, really pretty. I'm a sucker for any kind of Mario game. I mean, were you counting? Do you know how many Mario games are in my collection? I feel like half of my collection, at least, is Mario games, because I'm kind of a Mario ho. You definitely have to think outside the box with this game. Like, I've gotten stuck at times, but then I get really proud of myself when I beat an area or I figure something out. So, uh, yeah, it's really fun. It's definitely, like, a one-player game. You can play with two people, but it's really mainly a one-player game. Um, very kind of open world as well. 3D, which I really like. It reminds me of the 3D games that you can play in Mario 3D All-Stars. It is 3D. And, uh, yeah, it's a really fun game. So there you guys go. That is my entire Nintendo Switch game collection, along with my accessories that I showed you guys. I love talking about this kind of stuff, and so I figured, why not make some videos about it? I don't know if you guys like this at all. Uh, I will obviously be focusing, like, still on music on this channel but I just been wanting to incorporate some other stuff and I want to make videos for you guys and if I have an idea I just really want to film it so let me know what you guys think of this video by commenting down below and giving it a thumbs up if you guys liked it also let me know in the comments what your favorite Nintendo Switch game is and how many games you have in your collection because I'd love to know and if you guys like this maybe I'll make more gaming videos in the future could be fun but other than that I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time bye